This video is powered by Dr. Sinek, one of the world's leading hair transplant centers and a top choice among football superstars. Scan the QR code on the screen or click the link below for your free consultation. Hi, welcome to AFTV. I've got Laurie with me. We've just lost to Bournemouth 2-0 here at the Vitality Stadium. Laurie, I don't really know where to start. Do we start with the 10 men? Do we start with the team selection? Do we start with, you know, the players not turning up? What went wrong for you today for Arsenal? Well, we, we imploded today, man. Um, back, back at the start of the season when Declan Rice got sent off against Brighton, what were we all saying? So we're going to learn a lesson to that and move forward. Happens later on in the season against Man City. We come through those two games unscathed. And then today, Saliba 30 minutes. For me, that's a sending off. Um, is it, so is, is it for you, is a clear red then for you? Because some would argue, you know, that ben, ben White might have been able to get around and cover. Um, it, was, it was still far. It wasn't, to me, it wasn't a clear, clear cut score, um, goal scoring opportunity, but it was a goal scoring opportunity because on the halfway line. But there's still a lot of distance to cover before he gets to Arsenal's goal. Yeah, you could say that, but I think you've given, well, referee VAR in the end that made the decision. Because yeah. to be fair to the ref, he didn't he gave, send him off straight away, did he? He gave a yellow. As soon as you see him going over to the screen, you're thinking that's going to be overturned. And as soon as that happened, man, I was like, me and Robbie sat next to each other and I was saying, this is not looking good for us. Because if you think about it, even before the sending off, we, we hadn't looked that good. No, we had hadn't. the majority of the ball, but we had no real cutting edge. So when that happened already, I was thinking, oh, this is going to be a long mm. evening, you know, and so it proved. Did he, did he, sorry just to cut you there, did he mean it? Do you think, Steve, do you think, you know, they talk about Arsenal, these dark arts and all these things. Once the players, obviously it's come off Trossard, he's kicked it, because when I first saw it, it looked it like the player was offside, the Bournemouth player, mm. but it came off our player to put him in. Did Saliba, as, as a defender, do you think he meant to clip the player's legs just because he knew he wouldn't be able to get back? Or was it just, you know, coming together? Well, listen, only he would know that. Mm. But from where I was sad, stuck, whatever you want to say, it looked to me like there was a big coming together. And to me, it looked like he was going to get the red card. I've mm. got to be honest. Robbie was saying to me, he made a good point that Declan Rice looked like he could have made up the ground, covered. But once that happens, man, you're always fearing the worst. Mm. Mm. So who, who's... So you don't say it's Saliba's fault at all, maybe? For, or yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm saying it's his, say fault. It's his fault. Yeah, okay. he shouldn't have done that, man. I mean, wow. listen, we've got to learn from our mistakes. We we had a man sent off against Brighton. Yeah. We were all moaning at the reverse and that. Man City again. You cannot win mm. a Premier League if you don't keep 11 players yeah. on the beach. You're a man that likes to respect clubs and no matter who you face, you know, whatever level, whatever position they're on in, in, the, in the table. But at 10 men, did you expect to see Arsenal maybe have a better reaction to what you saw today? You know what? I thought we could still get something out of the game because I've got to be honest, I wasn't totally impressed with Bournemouth Fiver today. I thought that was a winnable game. I'll be honest, with you. even with when we went down to 10 men, as long as we, you know, I mean, do the right things. You weren't then, impressed by Bournemouth. You said before the red card that they, we weren't, we, we looked bad and they had a few chances. Yeah, OK, you could have said marginally they were playing a better football than us, but I wasn't overly impressed with them. I thought if we got ourselves together, kept the shape, kept the discipline, we might still be able to get something out of the game. Yeah. I didn't think we were being out radically outplayed, did you? Mm. Well, um, I mean, yeah, it but seemed but like they were... Regardless of that, listen, fair play to Bournemouth, they got the win. They've, overall, yes, of course, they were the better team. But what I would say, what I'm disappointed about today is that that loss, a lot of it is down to us. The Saliba sending off, we switched off for the corner. And even before they scored, I mean... Martinelli had an excellent opportunity himself. Let's talk you about should it. really be taking that chance. Would that have changed the game for you? Because that was a massive opportunity at the time. I think it was only 1-0 to them at that, at that stage. So would that for you have been the moment that we need to capitalise? And I think we get these, we always get these opportunities to, to, to turn the game on its head. But again, we're missing these, these key cut chances. Yeah, I've, listen, man, I think there was a series of unforced errors, man. And um, that cost us today. What's that down to, Laurie? Is that down to over... Because there's a lot of changes today. A lot of changes. The midfield was, to me, you know, a lot of, of, of DMs really in there. There wasn't much creativity. Obviously went down to 10 men, but a lot of changes. What do you think it was down to the fact that you know, we weren't I've, up to I've heard all those arguments, and yes, some of those arguments have some validity. But what I would say is this, yeah. No disrespect to Bournemouth, bro, but if we're going to be winning titles, we've got to come here and at least not lose. Mm. So this is a very disappointing loss today. It's a damning loss. Compounded by the fact that we got a very difficult game next week against Liverpool. We should not be losing today. And um, <laughs> I've got to say, I'm very, very disappointed. Is that a but, title for you? No, no, of course not. Hell no. Hell okay. no. Okay, I'm just, I'm but just... I'm just saying the manner of the defeat we should not be losing like this uh, at Bournemouth. No chance. I mean, and like I said, we had an opportunity to claw ourselves back into the game. We didn't take it. 
And then the 2 0 give your, I don't know what he's doing there, but he got totally done. Um, and yeah, it just compounded what was a very disappointing evening, which is, what can I say? Yeah.